Barbecue, and today we're going to make uh, smoked chicken thighs with a uh, Jack Daniels glaze. Okay, what we have here is first we're going to marinate them. Uh, we got all our tools together here. First, we have just a uh, bottle of uh, Zesty Italian, uh, just store brand is uh, fine. Gloves, anytime you use poultry, always wear gloves. And then we're going to trim these up a little bit. Uh, I got a couple of things here uh, just a regular chef knife more of like a fillet knife uh, or a pair of scissors. Uh, I typically like the scissors, they're a lot faster uh, just to clean up, uh, trim the chicken. So I'm going to use the scissors and two of your favorite uh, zip top bags. We use Ziploc and they tend not to leak, but uh, whichever ones you like to use and they're the uh, larger uh, gallon size. Um, you can use the larger ones, the two gallon size, but um, they tend not to get the marinade in as well because there's too much volume in the bag. So. I like to uh, split it up into uh, two gallon bags. So with that, uh, we're going to go ahead and trim the chicken, get the chicken in the bags, and then uh, get our marinade going. Uh, you want to get this in the uh, refrigerator. Um, overnight would be preferred, a uh, minimum of about four hours. Uh, it's about uh, nine this morning I'm going to put this on. Uh, so we're going to get about uh, six hours of uh, marinating time. So with that, let's get started. So this is side in the bed. And again, I'm just going to use a pair of scissors. Uh, these are kitchen shears. Uh, get these at any uh, kitchen store, Target, uh, you know, they carry them as well. So what we're going to do is just get in here and get rid of this extra fat. So a vein in this one. That uh, is not tasty. Let's get rid of that. Get this little extra piece right here. Don't need that. Just make sure it's nice and clean. Just gonna put them back in the tray upside down so I know I did them. Okay, first thing I do is kind of lay out the skin too. Where you can see what's hanging over. You get these big blobs like this. It's just not tasty. So you want to get rid of those. Any little veins or anything. Right there. It's a little extra piece of fat, not covering anything. That's tasty, but when you're eating it with chicken, like that. Let's get that out of the way. That's gross. Turn the gloves off. Clean hands. Bag. Oh, if you open them ahead of time. I'm going to take about half of these. In this case, we're going to put in six. The same with the other. All nicely mixed. And then we're going to put about half a bag each. Put about a half bottle in each bag. as much as possible. Little trick, get it stand upright, mash it down as much as you can, Just flip it over like that, start to pinch it, and as you get towards the end, just kind of mash it down a little bit. Right. As you can see it's all sucked up to the chicken, all the hairs out of that bag, Again, push it all down, almost like you're folding a shirt, get it right to the edge, hold it down, Press top, and there you go. That is a sealed bag. Okay, now it's sealed. Give it a good little massage. Get that in everywhere. So, all right. We have our chicken all uh, ready to be marinated, and we're going to stick this in the fridge. 
and uh, let's get we'll be back in about six hours uh, to uh, prep this and get it on the smoker. All right, while the chicken's wrapping up uh, marinating, we're going to go ahead and make our uh, Jack Daniels glaze for the chicken. And we're going to use that as a little bit of a finishing sauce when we're all done. So, got about uh, uh, one and a third cups of uh, water here. Uh, we've got uh, about two cups of brown sugar, about a half a cup of onion, diced, uh, four tablespoons of lime juice, got about four tablespoons of Jack Daniels. Got about two tablespoons of roasted uh, garlic, uh, two tablespoons of soy sauce, about a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, three tablespoons of uh, crushed uh, chopped uh, pineapple, and we got about a half a cup of teriyaki sauce. And we got three cans of uh, pineapple juice. We're going to use about two and a half cups. Okay, we're going to make up our sauce. We're going to start with our water. About one and a third cups of water. Do all our wet ingredients first. And a half a cup of teriyaki. Two tablespoons of soy. Two and a half cans of pineapple juice. Add our two cups of brown sugar. Don't make a mess. And then uh, about uh, half a cup of onion. The rest of the ingredients we're gonna let we're gonna wait on. And start to see the steam coming up, so we're getting pretty close to a boil. Just before we get to a boil, we want to put in our four tablespoons of lime juice, our four tablespoons of Jack Daniels. Two tablespoons of roasted garlic. Spend all that. A half a teaspoon of cayenne. Three tablespoons of crushed uh, pineapple. And when this comes up to a boil, we're going to turn the heat down a little bit and we're going to continue to let it simmer, so really slow, royal, uh, uh, low, low boil, low rumble in there, and we want to reduce this by at least half. Um, probably looking at about uh, 30 to 45 minutes for that to happen. Okay, it's been roughly 45 minutes with our sauce. Uh, it's been simmering. Just turn it off the heat. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set aside about half this sauce, even though it's not completely done. And uh, we're going to use that kind of as a uh, finishing sauce uh, with the chicken. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, strain. Oh, up. Strain off. About half our sauce. Get back on the stove. Bits, you can use your strainer, push it around a little bit, last some bits. Let's see, we strained it out quite a bit. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pull this aside, um, set that as a finishing sauce for our chicken, and uh, it's about time to uh, get our uh, chicken on the uh, on the smoker. Okay, our chicken's done uh, marinating. I uh, took it out of the bags, rinsed it all off. Uh, you want to get rid of the uh, excess marinade, and you want to rinse it off and then top, pat it dry with uh, paper towel. 
Okay, next we're going to do a rub. You can use your uh, your own uh, favorite rub. I, of course, use Revolution Barbecue Rub. This is our chicken and pork rub. Uh, you can find it on our website, www.powertothepig.com. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just lightly um, uh, dust this. This is chicken. Uh, with chicken, you want to go really, really light uh, with any kind of rub because it'll, uh, it'll overpower the chicken. Plus, we're going to put a little sauce and a glaze on it later. So it's not going to need quite as much. We'll pick up some flavor from that. Okay. Just going to go ahead and lightly coat the chicken. Like such. This is gentle back and forth. Flavor both sides. Okay, get this bed started. A little windy up today. I like so. That one's huge. But that's up with turkey. Some crazy, crazy sized chicken. Alright, that's going to be enough. It's like flipping it back over. I'm going to put these skin side up. Tuck them in a little bit, give a little bit of shape to them. Yes, always wear a glove. I have a clean hand, dirty hand. Don't let it get too mixed. Alright. Spread that out. Just a little touch up. Alright, go ahead and uh, let's get these on the smoker. Here we have our WSM put together, and as you can see it's starting to get a little bit of smoke going. Let's get these guys on. Alright, we got those on. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put the lid on. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, come back in about 45 minutes. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, really sauce these. We're going to um, kind of prep them a little bit with a little bit of sauce. So uh, about 45 minutes and uh, we'll be pulling these off this time. Okay, and let's get the lid on. They're nice and tight. And again, we'll check this back in 45 minutes. So. Uh, Set your chicken to 45 minutes. Thank you, Savannah. Okay, chicken says it's time, so let's see if it is. It's looking pretty good. We're at about uh, 45 minutes for the chicken. We're going to take some of the sauce off that we. Uh, this is the sauce that we pulled out about halfway, and what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and take the chicken, and we're just going to dunk it in there, swirl it around a little bit, just kind of wet it. I like to dunk it this way instead of brushing it, because then it gets up underneath the skin, it gets all inside, all the little nooks and crannies. Alright, we got all those covered and all dipped. Alright, we're going to go ahead and uh, put the cover back on. And uh, we're going to come back in about 30 minutes and then uh, we'll put the glaze on. 
So we'll set the chicken to 30 and we'll see you then. Okay, so you can see the chicken says time's up. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, glaze these. Those are looking really good. Alright, so we reduced the sauce all the way down to this thick glaze. So we use our brush. Just brush that on there really good. Take a little peek, make sure we didn't miss anywhere. Alright. Get the lid back on. Set the chicken to 10 minutes, and we'll be back. Okay, chicken says it's uh, time's up. So let's go ahead and uh, take that off. Oh yeah, that's setting up nicely. And get that final glaze going on there. Okay, this will be our last one. And then we're gonna pull these off. Do this one more time. Cook these for another 10 minutes, and then we're gonna pull them off. All right, get those all glazed up. Go ahead and get the lid back on. Set the chicken for another 10 minutes, and we'll get ready to pull them off. Okay, chicken says it's done. So we're gonna go ahead and take these off. Oh yeah, those look amazing. Come by the sides. We don't mush up the tops. Keep them looking pretty. Got a big red flintstone over here. Alright, and that is smoked chicken with Jack Daniels glaze. Okay, to see this video, see other recipes, and you uh, see our products, go to our website at www.powertothepig.com. Thanks for joining us today, we greatly appreciate it, and look forward to seeing you again online.